Hi, and welcome. Lisa here for Trinity Stamps. Thanks for joining me. So today I'm sharing two quick and simple cards featuring the new Blooming Bunch stamps and coordinating dies. No coloring, just ink blending makes this super simple and fast. So I'm stamping the image twice using Memento Tuxedo Black ink onto Nina 100 pound Avalanche white cardstock, and I'm using my Misty. I'm going to run those through the die cut machine with the coordinating die. And while I'm over there, I go ahead and create like a little DIY stencil to put around this while I'm ink blending. You can completely skip this, but what I found is it saves me a little bit of time on cleanup. So I'm not, I don't have as much ink to clean up off of my work surface. So like I said, you could just completely skip this part if you wanted to. So let's do a little bit of ink blending here. I'm using Rosebud Pear Tart ink, and then I'm gonna come in with a little bit of Dandelion ink. For the second bouquet, I'm gonna use Dandelion Pear Tart, and I decide to come in with a little bit of Tangelo and add that as well. Don't be too fussy with that. Just ink blend it and move on. <laughs> so here I'm creating a uh, card base. I'm doing a black and white stripe card base. I'm creating two of these. I'm just using black dye ink and the stripe stencil to create those. I'm going to come in, add a few details to each of my ink blended bouquets, and then I'm going to come in with a brush pen that has white ink in it and I'm going to do some splatters on both of these bouquets. And I just squeeze some of that out onto an acrylic block and then take it and flick it off the end of the acrylic block. I went ahead and I stamped the largest butterfly twice from this stamp set, and I went ahead and I did the ink blending on it as well. So it's just a matter of stamping it, die cutting it, and then ink blending it. I used pink ink on one and orange on the other. I also die cut extra uh, pieces here, the, the bouquet, as you can see, and I stacked those together so I could add some dimension to my card. I went ahead and added these to the card bases that I had created. I'm adding the cute little butterfly. Now I did stamp a sentiment hello on the wing of the butterfly and I heat embossed it with gold embossing powder. And I'm just gonna add that to the top left of the card. I added a little twine to the card on the right. I added three little gemstones to the card on the left, which I'll show you in just a second. These cards were so easy. I, I wanted to stretch the video out, but there was just really nothing there for me to stretch out. It's just a matter of some ink blending and putting them together. But they turn out so pretty. I love this stamp set. It's absolutely gorgeous. So here up close, you're going to get a look at the butterfly and the little hello that I stamped on it. So cute. And that's going to bring us to the end of the video today. It's real short and sweet. I appreciate you joining me. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you want to click that subscribe button and ring the bell to be notified of new content to the channel, I would appreciate it. Now, for more information on the products used, head over to the Trinity Stamps website. And I hope you have an amazing day.